Essentially, a coke oven is a, a heated chamber. Um, coal goes in, we heat it to about 1220 to 1280 degrees, wait for 18 hours and get coke out. We heat it in the absence of oxygen so that there's no combustion inside the oven and we get a premium coke product out. I'm the Automation Reliability Engineer for coke making. Um, part of that role is to work with the digital transformation team to try and roll out as many of the new technologies as we can. One of those was uh, using PyVision for situational awareness to try and um, get some real-time, what we call real-time data. They're not a control screen, it's not a control um, system, but it allows the team to be able to see what's happening on the plant in the moment uh, and allow us to make good, quick decisions based on current status of the place. Having the pie screens in relation to oven filling, in relation to pushing torques to get the coke out of the oven, it allows us to ensure that our process is occurring as optimally as possible without any sort of delay in reaction to things. We used to have a whiteboard and they, people used to mark it up and stuff would stay on there for days. We wouldn't take it off, some things wouldn't get put on. So we replaced that with a system that uses Pi Vision as to display the data and power apps to input it. So basically any foreman or team leader can update it from anywhere and anyone can view it from anywhere and it becomes a focal point of the morning meeting. We've got eight screens available for our controllers now in real time. They're helping the controllers make decisions around the filling of the ovens, the pushing of the ovens, how well they're coking. It's about delay management in the coke ovens. So it's really about maximising our OEE through the use of digital tools is how Pi is helping us. There's a number of different things that we want to keep track of and really we're looking for anything that will take us away from our normal pattern of process. So if something is going to delay us, or cause us to stop our process. We want to know what that is. We want to know early. I guess an example of real-time use, our charger machines have vacuum cleaners on them, which need to be used in order to get the oven tops clean. In the past, they would break down and they'd stay turned off until somebody reacted. Now, whether the vacuum is being used is recorded in real time in all three locations, so everybody knows if it's going or not, and they can make a a judgment call about what's happening in that machine. It's certainly an evolving process. I hesitate to say we're done because we keep finding more stuff that we can track and can give us more information and keep our process moving in a, in a better way. 